In today's video, I'm going to talk about five things you should add to your renderings for more drama in depth inside Lumion. My name is Katerina Magarzana, and I'll see you next. Welcome to another video from Guys Design Tools and today's video is all about depth and drama inside Lumion and how to create it. What elements you should add to your renderings to have that more dramatic rendering. So this is some uh, type of rendering that maybe you don't normally do, but maybe you want to do it for a specific project or just to show off your rendering skills as well. So first of all, this is just some examples. I'll add them in the end of this video, uh, but I really want to show you how, how uh, you can see uh, dramatic drama and uh, depth in the renderings just using this simple effect inside Lumion. So let's go into Lumion and I'm losing Lumion uh, 2023 and I just want to show you quickly how to add this uh, this type of effect to your renderings. So this is my model in a sunny day in somewhere in the UK and uh, let's bring a little bit of drama. So all I uh, just some elements I add here in the build mode first of course my project uh, I like to add trees for context as well so neighboring big trees I think they are really cool I'll, uh, maybe not all okay so you still see some sky um, and but trees as a context are very important as well to create that drama effect that we want so let's go into uh, photo mode again so first of all what I add is um, of course you're going to choose uh, the time of day you want your rendering i ask um, i put dawn as a preset okay so if you go into lumion presets uh, i add dawn just a little bit more dramatic um lighting as well from the set from the get-go from the lumion team just a bit of more drama uh, what i like to do is i go to real skies and add a more cloudy sky okay so if you go to the presets um a little bit of overcast um of course you could choose some other skies but you know because i'm gonna use precipitation and fog um i did an, an overcast um um sky i think it's important um so the f that's the first element make sure you have the the trees in the build mode for context so neighboring big trees it's important first element you should add is a dramatic sky okay so that's going to be very important in this case um second thing is actually fog okay so i like to add fog a little bit you can play around with it but what this makes is make the context trees appear more um, in the background okay so it creates that depth instead of them being in focus so i'm just going to take the the, fo uh, the, the, the fog just for to show you so uh, i'm just updating my preview you can see here now everything is in focus uh, all the trees they are still in the background you can see them in the background but they don't create that depth that fog does okay so let's go back and add fog so straight away you can see that you can playing with the with the with the depth of the fog as well you can clearly see that the trees have more depth to it so of course you can play here with the density okay and this goes closer or further uh, depends how, how we want okay so that's up to you but you know it just creates a little bit more depth so that's the second element so uh, dramatic sky first fog second i play around a little bit with the volumetric sunlight as well but you know uh, maybe um, that's not really important so much what i like to do is precipitation as well so especially in something like this um that you have like this uh, greenhouse of glass and you can have the the rain streaks uh, coming through the window i think they're pretty cool this is uh, you know another level to create that dramatic uh, rendering that we want so precipitation has another thing as well really important i'm actually going to show you here in the rendering it's just it wets the paving areas so i think that's really cool anything to do with for example, adding a little bit of dirt, 
Ele adding um, when you in materials inside lumin lumion adding um, age to it makes the, the, the materials really um, more realistic and a little bit more dramatic as well. So let me just show you in build mode. So if you go to materials inside build mode, if you go, if you click in a, a material, for example, you have weathering strength and you can play around with it. It can be a bit too much sometimes. But sometimes, even just slight less uh, thing, it makes a difference in your rendering. You know, it just makes that a little bit more realistic. So that's something you should do uh, in your materials. Work a little bit materials to relieve the displacement. Okay, just make sure that they are, you know, really uh, good quality materials um, in your rendering. And as you can see, precipitation does this. Uh, puddle areas of course maybe here will be a bit too much uh, but it just creates that drama effect again okay so dramatic sky fog precipitation so three really important things you should add to your renderings for a dramatic effect what i like to do now is because you know once you're doing this fog precipitation a dramatic in the dawn so it's a bit quite dark put the lights on so this creates depth in the garden as well so i have the lights of the house in the background let me just show you here so i just want to show you this rendering so i have the lights there it's just a slight thing so okay so i have the lights in the in the house i have the some spotlights here in the arches i have a spotlight going to the character to the girl coming with the umbrella and some light here in the foreground as well so all this type of lighting especially if you're creating a really dramatic scene it just adds a, that depth again you know it just makes it any show it, it calls the eye for some different spots especially here in the arches and the character coming through okay so this is something to think about as well so skies precipitation fog and lights for drama and lastly but not least it's the leaves in the floor okay so i always like if it's a very summery uh, day i like to add for example uh, dandelions flying in this in you know close to the grasses or butterflies if it's a butterfly border rich planning um but you know if you're creating some drama um in in a more uh, autumn uh, wintry feel uh, rendering uh, some leaves in the paving are uh, pretty cool okay so have some trees with a more reddish color uh, close by and some leaves in the paving really create that extra effect in your in your renderings so i hope you enjoyed this video i hope it gives you a few tips of how to create a more dramatic rendering using lumion effects most of it um and you know even if it's not your everyday rendering that you show to your client this is something fun to work with and maybe show even in a portfolio or in your social networks see you guys in the next video